In September, you can increase fertiliser a tiny bit to about 12 kilos uh, per hectare. So that's the last application, which must be done by mid-September. In good grass clover swards, where there's an annual sward clover content of around 20%, you can reduce fertiliser nitrogen input by up to 100 kilos per year. And that reduction in fertiliser nitrogen comes from May onwards. So from May onwards, you can, you can cut your fertiliser in each application, and we're looking at applying somewhere around nine kilos of fertiliser following the cows in each rotation, or that works out an average around 13 kilos per month for the months of May, June, July and August. Then in September, you can increase fertiliser a tiny bit to about 12 kilos uh, per hectare. So that's the last application, which must be done by mid-September. In terms of grazing management uh, in this mid-season mid period, so firstly, it's really important to be measuring farm cover weekly. In periods of uh, fast grass growth or high grass growth, you should probably measure twice a week. Use your grass wedge in terms of making decisions around surpluses and deficits. Target pre-grazing herbage mass at 14 to 1500 kilos of dry matter per hectare. And it's really important to be grazing down to four centimetres and getting good clean out in the swards. This really helps the clover to persist and be productive in the sward by allowing light to the base of the sward. From mid-August onwards, you need to start to build, uh, to increase your rotation, similar, exactly the same as you do in a grass-only sward, so that you can build cover into September to extend your grazing um, season into the autumn.